Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. What's going on, guys? Today we are grading all of the All Madden Part 2 cards that came out today. Before we get started, though, of course, if you are in the 50% of people, I know it's crazy. It's probably you right now watching this video, sneaking around YouTube, not subscribed to this channel. Hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications. If you find the video helpful, hit that like button. It helps the video get out to more people definitely helps with that algorithm the shout out for today's video goes to my man typical god 157 and if you want a chance to be shouted out in the next one let's comment the thumbs up emoji but let's just get started getting started here with ricky williams ricky williams backfield master 3 ap the fact ricky williams is our first backfield master is a little bit crazy but it is what it is joystick evasive tank 90 acceleration with 92 speed and 90 break tackle so if we go to the i actually have it right here if we go to the running back position right now in this game we have Kenneth Walker, we have Raheem Mostert, Gus Edwards. Um, so I, I would say that I, I would say that Ricky Williams will, will be for you guys who I mean he's gonna be pretty expensive. He'll be pretty expensive. He people are gonna think he's gonna be the best running back in the game. I don't think he's gonna be the best running back in the game. I, I don't think he will. Does he get Dolphins, Saints, Ravens, Cams? Uh, will he be better? I'll just name the guys I think he'll be better than. Um, I think he'll, he'll he'll be better than Gus Edwards. He'll be better than Raheem. He'll, he'll be better than Jameer Gibbs. I think he's probably RB2, RB2. I think he's probably better than Foreman. The only problem is running back X factors are one of the, I mean, besides a like quarterback X factors, are one of the few X factors that actually work on their position. So having like a, you know, a, a wrecking ball or a, a freight train or an angry run, something like that, there's an advantage to that if you are running the ball a lot. If you're not running the ball a lot, then don't, inv don't invest a lot of AP in your run game. Then just go with a guy like Ricky Williams who has good stats and is able to get jukebox with a good mix of power and elusive stats, which is what this card is going to have with high COD and agility and things like that. So Ricky Williams, give me a solid card. I'm going to give this card right here, this Ricky Williams card, probably like an A. I'm going to give him an A. It's kind of out of his control, but comparing him to the other position in the game right now, in, in other positions in this game right now, uh, you know, the running back position, again, is X Factor dominated, in my opinion. Like if you have not used Kenneth Walker, I mean, if you're a runner and you haven't used Kenneth Walker with freight train yet, I recommend you do and today would be a probably a pretty good day to buy kenneth walker potentially because ricky Williams is coming out people might sell their you know kenneth walkers for ricky or ricky for kenneth walker or yeah you know what i mean but um next position next position let's go to william perry william perry defensive tackle landscape let's take a look at the, at the good old defensive tackle landscape um and i know that i've said that the grave digger card is my favorite in the game right now i've said that because he has really good acceleration um, at 92 acceleration and William Perry has that 91 acceleration but actually has better speed at 80 speed block shed his size is always crazy his cards always play insane and has crazy pass stress stats as well with 94 strength this is your new best defensive tackle in the game right now William Perry uh, without question this guy's actually kind of spitting facts he'll, he'll be your free BND I mean I don't is there a free BND is, is there I didn't know there was but um yeah he's, he's a good choice because you put him at defensive tackle inside stuff with his size and his speed it'll it'll last you for a long time probably until after potentially even zero chill up into zero chill which is a very long time that's a good utilization of a bnd right there so Ilium perry a plus the best defensive tackle in this game right now without question 100 he is defensive tackle number one next up we have greg olsen take a look at the tight end landscape now i will head over here to the tight ends i like greg olsen a lot i, I think his card actually looks pretty good he's six foot five for seattle Cam's gonna be why people kind of like him a lot seattle and uh seattle bears and uh, panthers but yeah, 90 speed, and he doesn't get tight end apprentice. He's our second tight end apprentice in the game right now. And a lot of us, a lot of you guys are using high route master QBs. We'll talk about another one here in this video. But if you're not, tight end apprentice is one of the, it, it was, it's not, I think people don't use it as much. Maybe because it hasn't been in the game this year, but I haven't heard much about it. Um, maybe because they switched kind of how slot and, and like slot in the corner or in bunch kind of works. I, I don't know, but um, tight end in bunch kind of works, but um, yeah, two AP there. If you want to run that, not even catching traffic with ninety speed. And if we compare him to the other, to the other uh, you know, tight ends in the game, he's as fast as Kyle Pitts. Um, basically, is he gonna be like a Kyle Pitts? It'll probably be like a better Kyle Pitts. One inch shorter, two fifty five. Ne neither card can really run block, but I think he's gonna be tight end one in this game when he comes out. So another A plus card, another really good drop for EA Sports. Um, I'm hoping we get an I hope we get like a, at least like an 89 speed good run blocking tight end. I know we have Kittle or even a 90 speed good run blocking tight end. Not sure who that could be, but um would be nice. And uh yeah, what this guy's saying is kind of true. How, how do you just by running two AP apprentice when, when you don't cook up your audibles and give uh I guess he's saying like hot round master, which is true. Um it, like I don't need an apprentice on my offense, so I don't use any of them. I don't use hot round master or apprentice, but 
if you do, then it's just tough to justify not using, especially like a guy like Warren Moon, or I guess you gotta sa you got you're not, like you're gonna have to sacrifice your speed though. Um, I, I would assume Warren Moon's gonna be quite expensive. Um, and we're gonna talk about that card in a second. Next up, oh yeah, here's Warren Moon. Warren Moon is an LTD. This card is gonna be wildly expensive. He's our first fast hot route master QB in the game. And of course, what I mean by that is pretty self-explanatory. He's the first hot route master QB in the game that can actually move. Um, we've had uh, Troy Aikman, 72 speed, can't really move. We've had uh, Joe Montana, 77 speed, can move all right, but really can't move like at, at an elite level. And then finally, we have Kurt Warner, who cannot move a lick at all. Like he's he's literally a cone out there. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I really do like Warren Moon. Warren Moon's even really good. We already had a Warren Moon card this year. He played great. People didn't complain about the release. People people liked Warren Moon's card earlier in the year. This card's gonna be no different. And I, I, I tweeted about this earlier. The fact that we're already seeing recycled cards is scary. Like, the fact we're already getting another Warren Moon card when there's so many legend quarterbacks or current quarterbacks. I'm not saying this could have been a current quarterback, but, you know, in this game, there's many really legend quarterbacks. Like, I can, I'll, on the top of my head right now, I can name about probably 20 quarterbacks that deserve upgrades, um, you know, that are, are legends. You know what I mean? I think I people know what I'm saying, but, uh, yeah, Vikings, Seahawks, Chiefs, Titans. I mean, we know what this is. We, everyone knows what it is, okay? Everyone knows why this card came out today. Um, LTD, we all know why, okay? We all know why. You know my theories on this, but uh, this card's gonna be an A+. He'll be the best quarterback in the game when he comes out, um, and I will be doing a video on him. Uh, sh should be up shortly after you're seeing this. Um, next up, we have Martin Gramatica. Martin Gramatica, and by the way, he doesn't get set feet. I should probably say that, but Martin Gramatica, I think he's an A+, plus too. I, I really do. Um, the fact they gave him not 80 speed is not that big of a deal. It isn't, but maybe on kick return, it could help you out every once in a while or special teams. But 94 kick power is elite. And the fact we have a high kick power kicker in the game now that isn't hidden behind like a pretty expensive wall um, like Bucker or you know, you know Justin Tucker were um, is really nice to see. So this card, honestly, if you can get him for like, I mean, 94 kick power, again, it should last you for a while. Like, you know, it only goes, it only goes to 99. So Who's going to come out that'll be better than him? I don't know, you know, for a while. So keep that in mind. It's, it's, it's a pretty good buy. Whether you buy him now or whether you buy him during harvest or right before, you know, zero chill. I, or even during zero chill, even in, in January, this car, this car will, will be a good buy because of 94 kick power. You know, you know, you know what I mean? Like he's always, he's always going to be a good buy. So, um, yeah, Buccaneers, Colts, Cowboys, and Saints cams. I'm going to give Martin an A plus, another A plus here today. Um, again, really good content drop as far as cards that are top tier their position. Next up, Brian Dawkins. This year, they made Brian Dawkins a strong safety. I'm going to compare him to free and strong safeties in this game right now. But uh, yeah, 92 speed with 90 zone, 90 man, 94 hit power, 92 acceleration. Um, play rack, of course, a little bit lower because the card came out earlier in the year. But man, deep round KO, deep out zone KO, acrobat, and no outsiders on this card is crazy. Um, but yeah, obviously, very good abilities. And comparing him to the other safeties in this game right now, Again, he's the best safety in the game. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Um, he's just a... I mean, Ronnie Lott is the debatable one. Ronnie Lott is a guy that you can say is pretty close, but at the end of the day, like, they're so similar. I mean, I guess maybe that's why they made uh, Brian Dawkins a strong safety because they already dropped Ronnie Lott. But low-key, Ronnie could be a good buy today because this card is an LTD and will be very expensive. Um, but definitely a top two safety, either him or Ronnie at safety one though. Strong safety number one though, for sure. Yeah, he's definitely strong safety number one. Hitting two thresholds, having good size at six foot, 210. His cards always play super solid. So yeah, Brian Dawkins, A plus again, top tier hit position. Next up, we have Steven Boyd. Steven Boyd. So this is where, this is kind of where making these videos before we see all the stats kind of can hurt a cards agreed. Um, you know, I've been, I've been seeing these Madden cards for a while now. I got a pretty good feel of kind of what a card will look like um, at this point. But um, Stephen Boyd, again, we really haven't seen a Stephen Boyd card in the game. We really haven't. Um, I feel like he's going to play a little bit clunky, mainly because of the zone coverage. I would assume if I am wrong, okay, I would assume he's going to have kind of mid agility in COD, which is very important on a user. Acceleration is not bad. 90 speed only played for the Lions. Um, does get Lurk Artist for 1 AP, which is a big W, basically kind of saved this card. But a really good run-stopping card. At 247, uh, with 84 strength and good hit power, uh, you know, 87 tackling could be better, I guess. But um, let me see, what, what we got here? What, what we got here? What, what do we got here? What are people saying here? Anzalone exists. No, Anzalone's not. No, no, no. Anzalone. Oh, oh you're saying Oh, you're saying that Anzalone. Okay, I see what he's saying. I see what he's saying. Yeah, Anzalone, no Lurk Artist is brutal, but they gave him, they gave him Lurk Artist uh, to Stephen Boyd. So this card right here, I'm going to give him a 
like comparing him to the other middle linebacker users in the game right now um he's better than kenneth murray again he's not better than luke keekley because luke keekley has 90 zone coverage even devin white gets 87 man coverage so i, I would probably still take devin white over him fully settled louis Kahn, i would probably take fully settled louis Kahn over him um and then anthony walker anthony walker is a closer one because he can't play zone either but i would actually probably i would probably go stephen boyd over walker and this is probably this is what I, this is kind of what i would assume um boyd's like uh stats are gonna look like agility and cod wise um that's probably what i that's what, kind of what i assume they're gonna look like or at least kind of close to that um jordan hicks like if it looks like this the card could be like an a card but i'm gonna give him a a, a b plus yeah I, I think he's gonna have kind of lower agility lower cod um and also 80s on coverage but very similar to yeah, basically just jordan hicks basically is what it looks like um is what steven boyd's gonna be but just for the lions i'm spending too much time on steven boyd to be honest finally last but not least we got champ champ bailey champ bailey broncos commanders bench press two acrobat two deep route inside shade four um six foot 192 and uh, i actually kind of want to look at a past champ bailey card just to kind of refresh my memory i think we had a champ bailey in 22 um did we have one last year i don't remember if we had one last year i'm gonna be honest do we, we, we have a champ bailey we didn't have a champ bailey in 22 was there a champ bailey in 23 i really oh yeah right here okay this is probably a bad example let's go to like an earlier game champ bailey okay that's just not an earlier game champ bailey yeah this is, a, this is a good example of a champ bailey card okay so yeah he probably won't be the best like tackler against the against the run and i really hope they give him better catching and catching traffic and things like that because to me that does matter this year but um looking again looking at the quarterback cornerback quarterback cornerback landscape right now um he's up there with some of the best guys over six foot good speed he's better than a dory um he's better than kenny moore he's he's better than ken riley yeah i would probably say he's better than ken riley better than night train lane night train has good hit power so like if you're playing man coverage night train's the clear option there because he also can stop the run but if you're playing zone it's going to be champ because you want to be able to get to 90 zone 90 man uh which isn't it's not possible with night train lane it's not possible even if you have plus four zone coverage you still can get him to 90 zone which sucks but i'll probably go with champ over saw i saw a six foot three though and saw has been playing well for me but um yeah that's probably what i would say and then talib yeah i would probably put him at he's probably cornerback one in the game right now yeah he's, he's cornerback one because as far as our 92 speed guys he's under six foot similar stats though both are pretty good and he can actually hit pretty well tackle pretty well so okay either ken or either i would probably say either ken or maybe leaning more towards champ if you're um you know if you play i, I, I don't know ken or champ as a cornerback one and then night train uh, depending on you know what defense you play but um, those are my thoughts on the cards today i'm gonna give champ bailey an a plus as well a uh, really good card really good drop a really really good drop of course these these content drops are not like traditional content drops so there's going to be f cards and c cards and things like that uh, but a really good drop as far as cards that i would add to the add to your team Warren Moon will, will, will be the best cornerback in the game. Quarterback in the game. Greg Olson will be the best tight end in the game. William Perry, best defense tackle in the game. Rick Williams, a top two running back in the game. Martin Gramatica, top kicker in the game. Brian Dawkins, top two safety in the game. Stephen Boyd, probably like a top five user in the game. And then Champ Bailey, easily like a top two, top three, top one potentially corner in the game. So a really good drop. If you can get any of these cards for, for affordable prices, I would say go for it. All of them are good cheats depending on what you're running, depending on what your team looks like. Um, but uh, I'm going to head out of here. And Warren Moon gameplay coming shortly after this one. I will see you boys in the next one.